Okay. <clears> hmm. <throat> <coughs> Yum. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Lauren Marie NYC. Today I will be challenging myself, and I put together this whole face of makeup here just using my fingers. I was really inspired by the video I put up last week, makeup hacks, just little things that make doing your makeup easier that not everyone talks about in an everyday makeup tutorial. And number five on my hack list, your fingers. They are so useful, these little buggers. And if you're on a budget, they prevent you from having to buy a brushes or sponges. So this whole tutorial I will do without brushes, without sponges, just using my fingers. Of course, I will also use the applicators that a product comes with. For example, mascara, I will be using the mascara wand that comes with it, but I won't be using any additional sponges or brushes to apply this makeup look. I will be starting this tutorial with my brows already completed, and for that I use the ColourPop Brow Boss. This is in the shade Dark Brown. I've been using this a lot recently in place of Benefit Precisely My Brow or Anastasia Brow Wiz, and I'm telling ya, it's amazing and it's $5. So, let's get started. First up, I will be using my favorite eyeshadow primer, the Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Shadow Primer with my fingy. This is something I often use with my finger. Make sure to cover the whole lid from lash line to brow. Next, I will be taking this lovely cream shade called Bling from the ColourPop Yes Please palette to set my crease and brow bone. I'm just gonna use padding motions at first. All right, so after I set my lid, if I'm gonna be using my fingers, the easiest place on your eye to use your fingers are your eyelids. Often they hold the shimmer or glitter shadows that you might wanna use and your fingers, the best way to apply those types of shadows anyway. So I'm gonna start there and then blow out my crease and transition shades from there. The first shadow I will be using on my lid is ColourPop Glass Bowl. It's a single, it's like this duochrome browny blue purple and I will be putting that on the outside corner of my lid. I'm gonna try it dry first and then maybe if it needs a little oomph we'll spritz it. Oh wow. This is my first time trying the shadow and I'm loving it. Okay I'm gonna put this all over my lid instead of just the outer corner because it is too pretty girl. Oh my goodness. Wow isn't that pretty? A lot lighter than I thought it was going to be, but it's nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To get into the smallest parts and crevices of my eye, like my inner corners, I like to switch to my pinky finger because it's the smallest one I got. Even though I love the way this is looking, I am going to give my finger a little spritz with Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist and see if that zhuzhes it up anymore. Spray my finger first, then pick up the product. I actually do think that zhuzhed it up a bit. Next color I will be using is from the Desi and Katie Dose of Colors collaboration. This is called The Girls. It's their eyeshadow quad. And I'm going to be going in to Turbosan here, which is sort of a darker version of what I've already laid down. It's not as duochrome, but it does have a blue-brown shift to it with some red undertones, just like Glass Bowl from ColourPop. This I am definitely going to wet. And then just ever so slightly, I'm going to be flicking that color up into my crease and then we will blend it out later, just laying some color down. All right, now to blend out that little bit of a crease color we have going on, I'm going to take a dry finger without any eyeshadow on it and just tap out those edges ever so slightly. Okay, and now growing in with a true transition shade, I will be using Made to Last from ColourPop. This is a really pretty, cool toned transition shade. At first, just using padding motions right on top of my crease. And then again, once the color is laid down, 
just taking a dry finger without any product on it and blending out the edges using light padding motions and flicking outward ever so slightly. All right, our upper eyes are almost done. Next, I'm going to go into a brow bone shade. And for that, we're going to be using I'm Peachless from Makeup Geek. And I'm going to be taking that on my pinky finger and just tapping that ever so slightly at the very peak of my eyebrow where it comes up the highest. And then I'm going to be taking the same shade, I'm Peachless, on the inner corners of my eye. Now it's really important to clean your fingers between shadows, between sections of your face. You don't want to get glitter on your face if you're putting glitter eyeshadow on your lids. You just want to start fresh with every new product. So have a towel nearby or a makeup wipe or a sink if you can and just wipe or wash off your hands in between sections. Next up, whoo! is concealer. For this, it is certainly better to use a cream or a cushion product, something that is more malleable and thick than a very, very liquidy, which is gonna run everywhere and you don't have as much control over it. So I'm sort of meeting in the middle here. I'm going to be using my favorite and highest coverage concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape. Now this is a liquid concealer, but it's very thick and a little goes a long way. So I'm going to be sure to be very sparing with this, especially if you're putting concealer on with your fingers as opposed to a sponge or a brush. And with the Tarte Shape Tape, even less because this goes so far, because your fingers do not absorb product like sponges or brushes do. So use a little bit less than you normally would. I'm nervous about this one. Oh, maybe too much. Maybe. I'm gonna share the love with the other side. And for this, you want to make sure you focus on the darkest part of your under eye, which for me is right here in these crevices, and very slowly start dragging it down and outwards. And I am exclusively using padding motions, just like you would a beauty blender. I also find it easier to manipulate the product if you take it from your finger right off the applicator and use it that way. That way you have much more control over the amount of product you're using. Just find it blends much easier that way, especially in little small parts like my nose. Now the Tarte Shape Tape is another great one to use for a tutorial like this because it dries so fast and it doesn't crease. You don't actually need to set this concealer. I don't really love using setting powders with my fingers and it's not entirely necessary especially for someone who doesn't wear foundation and if you're using Tarte Shape Tape. So I will be skipping that step altogether. Next up, I'm really excited. I haven't used these on camera since I reviewed them. I don't think, I don't think, but I love them and they're just so perfect for this tutorial. These are the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks and I have them here in Amber and Yacht Life. Amber is a very cool toned contour stick for us pale folk over here. And Yacht Life is a highlighter for darker skin tones or a blush slash highlighter for paler skin tones. So I will be using this in a dual fashion today as a blush and a little bit of a highlighter as well. First, I will be going in with Amber to contour these cheeks. These are really, really easy to use and blend out, so don't be afraid to go in right away. I remember when I first used these, I was afraid that they wouldn't blend easily, so I didn't use enough, and I just had to keep going back mistake-proof in a way. But if you are a pro, go ham, girl. And look how easily that blended out. Perfect for traveling, these things. Perfect for traveling. Now, of course, when I'm blending these out, I am pushing it into the skin and dragging upward. You want to make sure not to drag down at all because the point is to create a sort of cut here where your cheekbone is to appear larger. If you bring it down, it will just look kind of muddy and messy and dirty. All right, now that our cheeks are cut, I'm gonna take a little bit of this up on my forehead to just do a little bronzing up here. Since we're not bronzing with a traditional bronzer today. So natural looking, I love it. Alrighty, Ruski Doodle, we are moving right along. Next 
is blush. We are going to be taking the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Yacht Life, and I will be using this as a blush and a little highlighter as well. Now you can put these products right onto your skin and blend out from there. You can warm them up on the back of your hand first and pick it up with your finger, or you can just go straight in with your finger. Honestly, I find it works well any which way. They're so functional, these matchsticks. I love them. All right, now how beautiful is that? You see that sheen, girl? Ooh, ugh, so pretty. But for me, a very pale lady, this also gives me a little bit of color, and I love this color. It really reminds me of like a cream version of Luminosa, which is my favorite blush. It's sort of a peachy coral base with gold reflex. Mm, it's so beautiful, and it plays nicely with my brow bone and inner corner highlight, which is a little bit of peachy gold situation we got going on. You see what I did there? Yeah. Okay, just to top off this highlighter because I can't have enough. I'm gonna be using one of my new favorite products from the drugstore. I tried this in my drugstore makeup tutorial a couple weeks ago. This is the Makeup Revolution Strobe Highlighter in the shade Holographic Lights. I'm just gonna use this as a highlight topper just to get the real high points of my face. Highlighters are great with brushes, sponges, or your fingers. I always suggest to newbies to highlighters to use your finger because you have way more control and you can tell exactly where you're placing the product. When you're using a brush, especially with highlighter, your vision is obstructed a bit and you can't see exactly where it's going down, especially if you're using a fluffier brush or a brush that you don't have as much control over. Your fingers, however, will never Never let you down. Look at this! God, do I love this highlighter. It's just so beautiful. A little on the nose, a little on the cupid's bow, maybe just a little on the chin. Okay, wow, now that I'm like glowing from within, Jesus. Let's go back up to the eyes and finish that lower lash line real quick. For that, I'm going to start with ColourPop Made to Last on my pinky finger. This whole lower lash line I'm gonna be doing with my pinky finger because it's a tight space. Okay, made to last is down. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of Turbosan here and run that just on the outer corner of my lower lash line. All right, next step is mascara. And for this, I will be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I haven't used this one in a hot minute and I miss her. I miss her. Okie dokie. Next and last stop. Stop as if we're on a train or something. We're on the makeup train and the last stop is lipstick. But for real, the last step is lipstick. And for this, I will be using, oh my goodness, I got mascara everywhere. How did that happen? I will be using the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the shade Human Nature from his holiday collection. <sighs> Do we all see this beautiful, beautiful packaging? And I love this shade. It's a cool toned, dark neutral for me. I'm obsessed. All right, everybody, this is the finished look for today. I really love it. It's glowy and a little vampy and a little fairy-like. I don't know, I love it. So many duochromes going on, but they're working for me, and I am obsessed with this lip color. I love it so much. Okie dokie, folks! Tell me if you've ever done a whole look of makeup just using your fingers. No brushes, no sponges. I'm dying to know, because I think this is the first time I put a full face of makeup on without any brushes or sponges. I've definitely done touch-ups before just using my fingers. So, how do you think I did? I think it looks pretty dang good, especially for my first time. And I am just obsessed with these matchsticks, with this lip color, with this highlighter. Love them. If you want to see my initial review of these bad boys and the whole Fenty Beauty collection, you can click on this video right here. Please hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already and follow me on Instagram at Lauren Marie NYC. I'll see you guys next week. Bye bye.
We're just gonna cover up my pimples while we're here. While we're here. Right? I have a piece of that pimple cat jar.